Hi there, David Lee for the James Bond dossier again, and it's the 7th of January 2019. Uh, it's my first day back at work, so uh, pretty, uh, well, rather terrible. I don't know about you. Uh, and, well, yesterday I talked about the Aston Martin DB5 that uh, appeared in Inspector, wondering how it was that Key Branch managed to fix it so quickly throughout the film. Um, but and I wanted to talk about the DB5 again today because um, although it appeared in two of Pierce Brosnan's films, it has so far appeared in three out of four um, Daniel Craig films, uh, Casino Royale obviously, it skipped Quantum of Solace then returned in Skyfall and Spectre. And uh, because we know that Lea Seydoux is supposed to be appearing in Bond 25, uh, I guess it's going to appear in Bond 25 too. But for me, it's become a, um, a bit of a cliche, much in the way that um, at certain times in the series, uh, basically the Pierce Brosnan era, the uh, vodka martini appeared too, too much. And I think... Uh, the same thing has happened with the Aston Martin DB5. It's, uh, you know, it signifies 007 clearly to even the most casual Bond fan, but um, it's it's a bit it's a bit lazy and it's it's unrealistic. So uh, Aston Martin for for Bond, yes, absolutely, just not the DB5. I'd like to see him in uh, one of their new cars again, and yeah. I know that he does appear in their new car, in the new cars in in all the Bond films. Uh, it, sorry, in all the Daniel Craig Bond films. Um, but just leave it at that. DB5, no, it's a fantastic car, but it's a uh, it's from the 1960s. It's just not not realistic uh, for Bond to be driving. So uh, get rid of it. Sorry about that, DB5 and DB5 lovers. But uh, there you go. Okay, that's it for today.